The whole space of space and aviation has opened up to startups. These used to be national programs. Now, most of the innovation is coming from young entrepreneurial teams, teams with a real passion for what they're doing. There's a lot of startups, but very few who are really pioneering with clever strategies. SpaceX definitely did that, Rocket Lab did that, Hermes is doing that. Hermes has been very, very entrepreneurial, very clever strategy. Most people attempting something like this are talking about multi-billion dollar engine designs and a decade or more of huge uncertainty. Hermes is a very short path to proving the key risks out and then going to market in the national defense context that is both very valuable for Hermes as a revenue generating company and to the nation as a whole. It is a great hack to get to revenue faster and make a real contribution faster. You know, all the companies I mentioned are American mostly. There's a few efforts overseas, but most of the innovation is American because of this American culture of entrepreneurship. If we're going to keep up with the Chinese in hypersonic flight, almost certainly it'll come from an entrepreneur here, not a contractor waiting, waiting for guaranteed payouts before they do things. So going at risk, uh, which Hermes is doing, developing things on their own nickel, that's all what accelerates things. And that's what lets us compete effectively with other national programs, especially countries that might be ahead of us to start with. Well, it's always exciting to see how much entrepreneurs can do. They take something that's impossible, make it possible and then probable, and then really make it happen. And I think that's the story we are hoping for here from Hermes.